Hi everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're playing Devil May Cry, 2013 version, and uh, this is the Munda's fight. It's the true Devil's Dalliance. And what you have to do on this guy, uh, this is not the fight by the way, these are just some sequences where you're pulling stuff. Um, he's got three health bars for you to take out, and uh, the last health bar is uh, very, de very easy to destroy because if you're in Devil Trigger mode, and you use the 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 sledgehammer. It, it takes off half of his life, so it's only really, really two hits that you need to do at most three. But the fight's going to commence once you're down here. I did use a couple of items, but I didn't. Uh, you know, I had like zero health left, but I, I used some items, but I didn't end up getting hit, so I didn't have needed to have used the items. But I still use them, and sorry about that. But anyway, he's got two arms, uh, both represented by a health bar. When he does that, you want to just jump over the shockwave attack, and if you're too far away, latch onto it. But if you're thinking about doing the sledgehammer attacks, you're going to be in the air when you come uh, like over to where the hand is, so you're going to have to allow a second or two, well, not a second, but just like one second to elapse before you land, and then you can do your ground-based attacks. You definitely want to do the Trinity Smash when possible, because it will deal this guy massive damage. Um, so you see where the little area of effect attack is there where you're not supposed to be I was doing the angel evade and getting hit a lot because it was putting me all over the all over the place really quickly But if you just do the regular evade, I'm telling you you get hit a lot F Fewer times in fact once I started doing it. I never got hit so it's just a standard roll away from him and then jump over the shockwave and then just latch onto him or just fly over to where the, the hand is. You definitely just want to focus on um, on whatever hand you, you you can so that his attacks will uh, so that he'll just have one part of uh, one side where he'll be attacking you. So just pick a side and then just keep rolling with it. Uh, just feel free to, to, to heal and to use the devil trigger when you need to. You notice I have, I'm one hit away from death. He, he deals you an incredible amount of damage. Much so, uh, much le much more, excuse me, than the other boss fights that were of his kind. Like the, all the, all the fights in this game. But since this is the second phase, oh no, it's the first phase, I'm sorry. I just completely fell off for no reason there. Um, but you do want to be doing the, the Angel of A when he throws the Meteor at you. That's the most effective way to get out of the way of that. So... Okay, so we have one hand destroyed, and at this point, he's going to cover the entire place with lava. Even this little crag over here, it doesn't have the lava, um, like, it's not animated with lava on it, but you get destroyed if you're on there, uh, incrementally, that is. So, I wanted to at least just to get to the third phase without using any items, and uh, it was good to use the Devil Trigger because it really messes this guy up. What do you... What he's going to do though, and each time by the way you latch onto his eyes, what he's going to do is just uh, shoot projectiles at first, and I think this is where I heal over here somewhere, uh, but you just latch onto him with the angelic lift, and then uh, proceed to hit him. Okay, that's where I healed, yeah, so just latch on, and if you can't get over there in time, just release the devil trigger to stop it from uh, wasting all your reserve of it. And then when he does that, you just latch onto him and then start hitting him. I haven't hit him with the Devil Trigger, but you'll see how much it takes off right over here. So just latch on, allow yourself to come to the ground, and then, see, half his life gone in one hit. So just one more. See, I didn't get I didn't get damaged, so I didn't need to have used that healing item, but I didn't want to risk it. But that's the end of the fight. See you in the final chapter.